Hi. Hi, Nancy. How goes the world of pharmaceutical sales? Oh, well, I thought I'd grab a soda between meetings. Sure that's all you want? Yeah. Damn, what the hell? Hey there, sexy. <laughs> hey, yourself. It's not that bad. Look, it's not even bleeding. Mm, it doesn't mean there isn't a problem. I'm a carpenter. Accidents happen. You just bandage it up and keep on going. <laughs> it wouldn't hurt to have a doctor check it out. Maybe you broke it. Hmm. I don't think so. Well, it looks like your elbow's been broken. They uh, took a graft, probably from your hip. Yeah. <laughs> How does a pretty lady like you know things about nasty old scars? Oh, uh, my, um... My brother played football in high school. He had the same injury, same scar. You know, well, mine's an old hockey injury. I'm, I'm Brad Seagrave, by the way. <laughs> Nancy Green. Nancy. Uh, yeah, just put some ice on it. If it starts to hurt, take a couple of acetaminophen. And, uh, I mean, even if you have a hairline fracture, the only thing a doctor can do is splint it. So just baby it for a couple of days, and it should feel fine. A pharmaceutical sales lady, you sure sound like a doctor. <laughs> is everything okay? Oh, my little girl is a sniffles. I want to go check on her. Sorry to ask twice in a week, but could you hold down the fort for about an hour? Yeah, no problem. Just give her a kiss for me. <laughs> Seems silly, doesn't it? My kid sneezes a few times and I drop everything and run home. No, not at all. She's lucky to have such an attentive mom. Ow! Damn it! What? What happened? I... I reached for the hammer, but since I've got a busted thumb, oh. I couldn't get a good grip on it, and it fell on my head. <laughs> oh, no, I'm so sorry. Are you really a carpenter? I swear. <laughs> okay, I guess I didn't realize that installing shelves was such a death-defying act. Well, one man for a two-man job, it can be. I had time. You? Yeah. I mean, I, I can hand you the tools. Unless you're one of those uh, beer-guzzling cavemen who think that women can't tell one tool from the other and we should just stay home barefoot and pregnant all the time. Is that is that what you think? Never. Uh, just put the nail gun down, all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Now I'm going to go get some ice from my head. to be the sexist pig that you mentioned, but you know tools better than most women. You knew I needed the vice grip before I even realized I needed it. <laughs> well, I've had a lot of experience anticipating... Well, a long time ago, I used to date this guy that fixed motorcycles and, you know, he used to do this. It's amazing how much you can learn without even trying. God, a lot has changed. Be really good at taking care of a baby back then. Well, there's a flip side to that too. You can try really hard to master something and just never get there. It's like trying to be competent in one thing, but it's just not in your DNA. I tried to learn Italian once. It was boy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, um, at least you didn't injure yourself this time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you actually do? I told you, I'm a carpenter. <laughs> I know that's what you like to say you do, but, I mean, do you make a living at it, or do you just mangle your poor wife's repairs? Uh, my poor wife abandoned me two years ago. Hey, um... <laughs> I'm sorry, we've known each other, what, half an hour, and I'm already poking around old wounds. You had no way of knowing, besides that those wounds are healed. It's been a long time since my wife left. Just out of curiosity, did you ever forgive your wife for walking out on you? Uh, I wouldn't go that far. Uh, my ego's not all that evolved. Uh, then again, it was, it was probably for the best. I mean, who wants to be with somebody that doesn't want to be there for them? It's a good thing we didn't have kids, though. That that would have been a tragedy. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I just... I feel bad for bringing something up that's obviously painful for you. Uh, would, it, would, it, would it make you feel better if we even the score by letting me ask you a couple personal questions? Sure, as long as I reserve the right not to answer. 
Fair enough. So, where are you from? San Francisco. Really? What brought you to this side of the country? Um, work. I uh, sell pharmaceuticals. Yeah. Uh, you said something about taking care of a baby. You were yours? No, no. No, no kids. You have a massive diamond ring on your right hand. Uh, married, unmarried, undecided. It's a family heirloom. Well, that's impressive. We managed to install shelves and pour mixed drinks for three customers. Well, well like I said, I earned my stripes in my sister's bar back home in Buffalo. I've been talking about that a lot, though, haven't I? I just keep rambling about it. Oh, no, it's okay. I've enjoyed it. Thank you. Me too. But now it's your turn. Do you like your job? It's a paycheck. So you're not devoted to your career? It's difficult to get inspired selling pharmaceuticals. You want a family? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I asked the wrong question, didn't I? Um... I don't have a radar for those kind of things. I just uh, open my mouth, and it's like walking through a minefield. Well, you don't have to be a people person because you're really great with tools. <laughs> <laughs> Even when they're trying to behead you. Yeah. <laughs> so, Nancy Green from San Francisco, would you, uh, would you like to be spontaneous and go on a road trip with me? My, my sister offered me these primo opera tickets. She says they're the best seats in the house. But if you can't tell, I'm not much of an opera buff, so I wasn't going to do the drive an hour and a half to check it out. But if you're interested... It's a really nice offer. I actually love opera. <laughs> so, um, well, Don't sweat it. You know, it. It was probably a nutty idea to go on a road trip on the first date anyway. Maybe, maybe we could do something here in town. Grab dinner, or maybe go dancing. I'm sorry, you I've had a great time talking to you. You seem like a great guy. But for some reason, you seem to want to be anywhere but here. Why is that? <laughs>